to you, you'll get more for your dollar at Meadowbrook than you did at that school in. So, what is, what is the duty and obligation for the school committee? I think it's for the 2,200 students that come into these buildings every day. Please, please, reconsider, stay in negotiations with these gentlemen. I know I've been the president of our local for the last 10 years, and we have always been able to, with Matt and Mary Ann and the people before them, to always, always be able to continue to work. 411. So we, in, in essence, this year had to save $1.1 $1 million out of our budget. This was not an easy task, and a lot of things were cut. We work from the outside in, we have to work, uh, we have to work to find things that aren't going to directly impact our students. And this is, this is very difficult. Answers aren't here. This is a big vote tonight. And so I just really ask you to think about, um, it's a big decision. And again, do you have data to speak to um, how those people get health insurance in those other states? And how does your company um, help Rhode Island to bear that cost? Because there will be a cost. Before you make the vote, before you take this vote, that you take a lot of this vacuum and empty it out. Because right now, you are in a vacuum. Very few decisions that come before the school committee that are as difficult as this one. Uh, privatizing services. It is what we need to let the town, the community know that we can make this tough decision. No one seems to find anything wrong with custodians. And it's obvious again that they're going to be worse off if we outsource. I, along with my children, have had countless encounters with these fine men and women throughout the year. For me, this is a financial decision only. Causes real human suffering when you take away people's health care benefits.